next some standard societies this also important for interview point of view because he, we are living in the modern world okay if you design something means you should have some reference no? to submit your design to uh, the main consultant or uh, or to the concerned person at this level because uh, if you don't the beginners may don't know what is consultant contract etc that that i explain in chapter so at this level for example if you if you design something and if you submit to the to the concerned person so what do you think your design will blindly accept no you you must have some reference you must have some standards because we are living in the modern world so based on the previous research uh, previous years research and development we have a lot of data to use so that standard one example is actually already we discussed the same you can find in the list so we'll talk about the standard society so with the standard society uh, we can use the standards we can use the codes and that 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 uh, will use at the time of design so that your design is going to accept as per the occasion as per the the consultant or the client requirement so in the list first you'll find ashray so everyone know what is ashray american society of heating refrigeration and air conditioning engineers it's a society based in us and they are dealing with the research and development for this hvac in our uh, industry okay you'll find the n number of standards so you can go to this ashray website and you can find out the n of different standards so for at this level you see ashray standard uh, 55 we discuss human comfort and ashray 62.1 ventilation standard similar in ashray handbooks you'll find ashray fundamental handbook ashray refrigeration handbook ashray application handbook with the different edition and now in market for fundamental i think 2021 is the latest one ashray fundamental handbook 2021 is the latest edition similarly for application 2022 is the latest available and uh, in refrigeration i think 2006 i'm not sure about the refrigeration so you'll find the different handbooks also in ashray so for design point of view remember we are following ashray fundamental handbook and that 2021 latest edition is available so in the class also i'll try to uh, i'll use uh, ashray 2021 Previous we use uh, 17 and uh, 2009, but as I said, I'm updating. So we'll follow the latest available standard, which is 2021 for fundamental. In the ISO fundamental handbook only, you'll find this design for this residential as well as for commercial. For up, we will find separate application. So I'll give you the idea about this handbooks. Don't worry. Next society we have a SMACNA. So a SMACNA is what sheet metal and air conditioning contactors national association so this society also based in us they are dealing with the research and development for the ducting site in short duct is a passage used to convey the air uh, let me quickly show an image for beginners We have a separate uh, part four in module one for ducting. At this level, just I'm giving the idea. You see this sheet metal box, or else I'll give you the I'll show you the simple image. You see this sheet metal box is a passage used to convey the air. We used to call duct. Okay, in detail we'll discuss in part four of module one so you see when you talk about this duct design duct installation duct drafting etc we'll use this magna as a standard commonly in actual practice in india in gulf in many locations but if you are in uk then you're supposed to follow dw 144 this is a european standard mostly in uk for this ducting site next we have ahri previously it was eri you see in previous year we used to call ARI but now it's a AHRI it's a air conditioning heating and refrigeration institute and this society is dealing with the equipment site you see manufacture of HVCR equipments so when you talk about the standards for the equipments we'll follow this AHRI so generally on the equipments you'll find the AHRI logo it, it means the standard equipment so next ishray if you're in india you can you're supposed to follow ishray similar like ashray we have ishray indian society of heating refrigeration and air conditioning engineers and if you're a student you can take the membership uh, student membership uh, from ishray or if you are a professional you can they are offering the professional membership also from ishray so you can contact to your local ishray ishray is available in hyderabad in pune in uh, bangalore they have different chapters so you can contact and take the membership it's not expensive get the updates and if you can afford you can take the membership of ashray also next so next is is indian standards so in many locations or sorry in india if you're dealing with the project for uh, especially for ministry project you need to follow this is next is astm 
So you see, when you talk about the materials, ASTM will come into picture. For example, to fabricate and install the duct, we are using GI. Similarly, for uh, copper piping is used for refrigerant site. And chill water pipe, for chill water pipe, we are using black steel. Not only in HVC, if you talk about plumbing, firefighting, electrical, or even piping or other fields, when you talk about the material, we'll use the same standard, ASTM standard. ASTM is what? American Society for Testing and Materials. In short, ASTM. So this is related to the materials. So how we come to know, the, know that copper is a good option for refrigerant piping. GI is a good option for uh, uh, ducting. So based on this research and development from ASTM. Okay. Next, SIPC. If you are working in UK, then you are supposed to follow SIPC. SIPC is a what? Chartered Institute of Building Services Engineers. In short, we used to call SIPC. Like ASHRAE for US or in Gulf, we are mostly for following ASHRAE standard. But in UK, they have their own society. They have their own monopoly. So they don't want to follow US. So they have their own SIPC guides. Okay. Next, DEWA. If you are in Dubai. So we have a DEWA, Dubai Municipal, uh, Dubai, sorry, Dubai Electricity and Water Authority. In short, we used to call DEWA or else you'll find DM, Dubai Municipal for the ventilation standards. Okay, anyhow, uh, in again, in in uh, Dubai, you'll find ASTRA, ASTRA standard 62.1. So most of the, in most of the Gulf region, you'll find the ASTRA as a standard or SMACNA, uh, ASTM, etc. Now, if you're working in Qatar, you need to follow this Qatar Municipal, that is the Harama, Qatar General Electricity and Water Corporation in the name of that uh, municipal is Khatar Kharama. So you need to follow the standards from Khatar Kharama if you are working in Khatar for especially mini major project to get the approval for your project. Similarly, if you are in Saudi, we have RC, Royal Commission, Royal Commission for Jubail, Royal Commission for Yombo, Royal Commission for Riyadh, etc. They have their own standards, so especially again for uh, approval point of view for ministry project or for approval approval uh, point of view for the private projects, you need to follow this RC standards, Royal Commission. Next, LEED. You see, this LEED, IGBC, USGBC, all is related to green building. So, what is green building online? Any idea? Yeah, so you see uh, the idea of the green building. So, what you said is correct with respect to what? With respect to HVC engineer or uh, for building services. But apart from this saving of energy, we have uh, some more uh, points to consider for green building. So, first of all, before, uh, before dealing with uh, the societies, let me explain what is green building that you'll find in the next page. So green building, it not mean that the color of the building is green. So the green building, so green refers to what? Generally green means we are using this term for saving of energy, for saving environment. So the concept, you see concept point of view, the idea of green building is to save the environment. Okay. Saving the environment. And how to save the environment? By reducing the generation of CO2. And how to reduce the generation of CO2 by reducing the what power consumption? Because in most of the countries, still in most of the countries, the electrical, uh, the electricity generate with what? With the fossil fuels, with the coal, with the oils, etc. And with the fossil fuel, for example, coal is used to generate the electricity. Means when you burn the coal, the CO2 will release. Okay, so the idea of green building is to save the environment. But if you talk about the definition, you see a green building is one which uses less water. So if you are in plumbing, dealing with the plumbing service, you must think to save this water. Next, optimize energy efficiency. This is for HVC engineer because you see, if you talk about the energy consumption in building, means I'm talking about electrical energy. Uh, if you compare this consumption of electrical energy with the lighting, with the appliances, I'm comparing this lighting appliances with the HVC equipment. You see, for example, 100% electrical energy consumption in building, hmm. out of which 60 to 70% energy consumption directly with the HVC equipments. And in remaining 30%, you'll find other services and lighting, etc. Okay, so as a HVC engineer, your role is to design your system with the maximum efficiency, means optimize energy efficiency. So that if you design the HV system in an efficient way for one project, similarly, all the engineers of your city design the HV system in an efficient way. And further, if you talk about all the engineers of the country designing the system in an efficient way, and further, 
if throughout the world if everyone is designing the hg system in efficient way means everyone is contributing in saving the energy na and saving the energy means saving the electrical energy saving energy means uh, electrical energy means the less generation of energy is required less generation means less release of co2 okay getting a point so as a mechanical engineer dealing with the hvac your role is to design your system with the maximum efficiency so that one can save the energy and you can contribute in saving the environment next you see conserve natural resources like solar like uh, geothermal or wind turbines now we have this uh, wave uh, wave turbines lot of uh, new invention in the market with the natural resources and in green building projects also you'll find this you'll find the solar system you'll find the turbines uh, wind turbines you'll find this other natural resources so which will help to reduce the consumption of electric energy and next you see generate less waste and provide healthier space for occupants as compared to the conventional building okay so this is about the green building the green building is not just a no is not just a term it's a process which is used uh, or which is uh, which is used not only in hvc in almost all the services including this architectural and structural site okay even if you talk about this architectural site the paint which is used inside the building that also uh, they are taking care of that also because the paint when heat up it will reduce or sorry it will uh, produce the chemical which is uh, harmful for human for human breathing that uh, that produce voc that chemicals so in that 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 also important so the green building focus on saving of environment saving of uh, human health lot of things okay so now back to the topic so if you talk about the green building we have the standard society on the top we have a lead so what is lead you can read on the screen leadership in energy and environmental design in short we used to call lead and this is related with the usgbc united uh, state green building council with that they are offering this lead and if you have experience at least one or two years experience in uh, this field in this services you can think to involve in this uh, lead certification program okay but not for the beginner if you are a beginner uh, just get some experience in the field then you can think for this lead certification and if you are experienced definitely this lead certification writing the lead exam let like getting the lead certification will definitely help you help in increasing the means uh, definitely that will help you for your applications if you are switching for the new job that will help you for getting the job easily and uh, even for salary point of view because you see many consultant or many companies they are demanding lead certify engineers so if you experience you can think for this next we have igbc if you are in india we have this indian green building council so you can write the igbc exam also if you are in india that will also help again after igbc you can think for lead lead certification next you cannot ignore this career career is not a society it's a company but still in many any consultant for the designing they are following career standard and we have a career handbook and still in manual load calculation in many countries or in many by many this consultant still they are using career standard for manual load calculation so we cannot ignore this it's not a society it's a company but you cannot ignore why because it's the first company in the field of this air conditioning and you see crr ir is this is a name of a scientist and you see the full name is willis pavilion carrier and we are we are considering him as a father of air conditioning okay so he start in 1905 this company and 1950 they developed but the the concept start in 1905 by by this scientist called willis uh, evelyn carrier and we are considering this is a father of air conditioning and you can find his image also so that's the reason we cannot ignore this carrier company and uh, from carrier you know hap hap is commonly used in actual practice for the load calculation carrier hap so you'll find the carrier standard and now you see in many areas the carrier is following astra standard okay so in carrier handbook also they are referring to astra standard so astra society and uh, they are they are completely in that development side but we cannot ignore the carrier also if you talk about the load calculation manual still we are using carrier standard if you talk about the piping pipe designing there's still water pipe designing even in astra handbook you'll find the reference uh, from carrier okay 
So in this training program also, we are following this ASHRAE, SMACNA and CARRIER standards. Okay. For metal point of view, we are following ASTM. So this is about the interesting part and end of chapter 1. Now, if you have any questions related to this topic, what I cover just now, we can discuss. So, in the next session, we'll deal with the chapter 2. In chapter 2, you're going to get the idea, the process of designing and the process of installation, especially for beginners, how the process uh, goes, the order of designing and the order of installation, so that you can, uh, you'll get the mindset. So, with that mindset, we can start the training from chapter 3 means the technical part anyhow this all interaction will also help so chapter 2 is very very important so i'll give you the idea the steps involved in designing with uh, respect to the other services uh, and uh, the steps involved in execution the order etc the rules of a design engineer the rules of uh, execution engineer etc all you are going to get in chapter 2 chapter 3 physics using hvac which is very very important for the load calculation point of view very basic very important like uh, sensible heat, latent heat, BTU, temperature scales, vapor corrosion cycle, all this we'll discuss in chapter 3. And after that, chapter 4, psychometry, then we'll start building survey for the load calculation. After load calculation manual, we have uh, load calculation in software. And that conclude till, till part 3 of module 1. In part 4, air site, part 5, water site for this HVC designing. And module two is a uh, drafting. Those who join today only for them, I'm I'm just repeating this. Module two is a uh, drafting with AutoCAD. Module three is a uh, estimation, and module four is installation. Okay, then online done for tonight. Thank you. Mm -hmm.